Hey everybody, it's Angie and welcome to Hot and Flashy. In today's video, I'm going to clean out my makeup drawer. Uh, I started doing this clean out a couple months ago with my medicine chest and it was all nice and reorganized and I love that spring cleaning feeling. Well, now it's summer and I meant to post the next installment in that video like the week later and I don't know what happened. I started the Foundation Friday for Over 50 series and that took up a lot of time and I never got back to cleaning up my makeup drawer. I filmed the whole thing and then I realized it was going to be like an hour long video if I left it in one piece. So I've divided it out into face makeup and eye makeup. So um, today's installment is going to be the face makeup clean out. So what I noticed is that I have a ton of IT Cosmetics products um, because they send me the stuff for their QVC TSV uh, a couple times a year and so I have a ton of that. So it was a lot of sorting through IT stuff. It was a lot of um, you know, purging old things and going through a lot of the foundations that I've tried recently for the Foundation Friday videos. I do tend to give away my makeup um, to a woman's shelter or to friends or family uh, quite frequently, so I don't have a, like a ton of stuff as much as probably some other YouTubers have. I sample a lot. I don't buy a lot. If I go to the store and I try it and I don't like it, I leave it there. Um, I don't feel the need to try every single thing that comes down the pike, so this may not be a ton of makeup. Uh, compared to other people, but for me it was a lot. It was definitely getting cluttered. I couldn't fit anything more in, more in there. It was all piled up and disorganized. So let's go up to my bathroom, take a look in my drawer, and see what makes the cut. Let's get started on this, oh my gosh, epic project. Oh, where to start? Where to start? Oh my gosh. All right. Take out the obvious things that I'm keeping that I love. So the IT Bronzer, I use that almost every day. That's the ombre one, love it. Keeping the ombre blush from It Cosmetics, also love, also keeping. Uh, let's see, what else? Well, this was my favorite bronzer before I discovered that one. That's Wet n Wild Color Icon. Uh, it's nice, don't like it as much. I think I'll put that in the give it away pile. What's this? The IT Your Skin But Better CC Plus SPF 50. Oh yeah, that little push compact. Um, I'm going to give that to my mom. She li really likes that product. And what's this? Your Skin But Better CC Plus Airbrush Perfecting Powder. Ooh, that's a nice thing. I'm going to keep that. Definitely. That's a good one. Of the IT products, what else do we have in here? Okay, so this is an ancient eye makeup remover. There's only a little bit left, and I never use this anymore, so I'm going to toss that. There's my trash. What's this? Uh, this is the eye makeup remover that I have actually been using. I don't really use eye makeup remover much. I use the Kirkland wipes. But I keep this on hand for if I have like really stubborn mascara or eyeliner, so that is definitely keep. Uh, here's the Bourjois Healthy Mix Foundation. I really like that, although I haven't really used it much. Um, it's good for when skin is dry because it feels nice and moisturizing and looks creamy, so I'll keep that. Ooh, what else do we have in here? Back down here. Oh, here's my Becca Perfect Skin. Powder, hit pan on that, love it. Definitely keeping, using until the end. Oh, here's the Jane Iredale. I just reviewed this a couple weeks ago. Um, it's okay, I think I'm probably giving that to my friend who loves the Jane Iredale because she's tan now and that'll be a good color for her. What's this, Lorac Perfection Baked Perfecting Powder. I was gonna do a video where I compared this, Lorac to the this the CC Plus Airbrush Perfecting Powder and a couple of other powders. What other ones do I have? The uh, the Bare Minerals Mineral Veil. I could compare those three and see which one works the best. So I think I'll keep those three just to do that and see if there's anything else that I want to add to that one. What's this? Nars Orga no not orgasm. It's Nars Maui Stick Blush. I've had this probably five to ten years. I never use it. Never really loved it. So that's going in the giveaway pile. Pure CC Cream in light. I think I bought it in the wrong color. That's going in the give it away pile. 
My Elf Mistin set, love that product. Keep. And what's this? My Milani, Milani Brow Fix Kit, love that. Keeping. Oh, this was my favorite blush last summer, the NYX Blush in Peach. Fabulous blush, love it. But haven't used it once since I got the It Cosmetics uh, Ombre Blush, so I'll put that in the give it away pile. I'll let my daughters go through that first before I give it to other people. It Cosmetics, what is this? Hello Light Cream Illuminator. It's a really nice product. I don't use that much illuminator. Um, would like to keep it, not sure. Putting it in the not sure pile. Okay, what's this on the side? Oh, my Laura Mercier blush. This one is in Lotus Pink. Love that, keeping. And what's this? Lorac Pro blush in Rosy Glow. They sent me this years ago. I have never used it. It's just not a good color for me. I think it would look great on my mom. That's definitely in the give it away pile. And what else do we have in here? Here are the Laura Mercier Foundation Primer and Tinted Moisturizer. I have, I'm, I love this. I haven't worked with this a lot. I'm also planning on doing another uh, primer video to compare how they correct pores. So I'll keep this one for the primer video. And I'm keeping this one just because I love it underneath the Becca. Um, this one I was going to do, this is the Mali Face Defender. It's supposed to make you look poreless. I've had this for quite a while. I cannot figure out how to make it work right for me, but that could be in the same video with the pores, pore primers and things. Planning on doing that. This is, oh, Bare Minerals Complexion Rescue. Didn't really love it. Uh, give it away, I guess. And Rimmel Fix and Perfect. That's a good primer. I'm going to keep that is this Maybelline Fit Me Light Pink Blush. I haven't used that since I bought it. That's going in the giveaway. And over here, Laura Mercier Orange Blossom, current favorite for the summer. Just gorgeous, light, coppery, beautiful with a tan. And over here, Smashbox Photo Finish Light. This was the winner in my primer uh, comparison video along with the Rimmel Fix and Perfect Pro. They were kind of, not quite tied, but you know, one and two. And they were really good for helping the makeup to stay on longer. But um, I'm not sure about pores. I have to do a whole new one on, on pores because now my pores are bugging me. So there's that. And then these are the foundations that I actually really like and use all the time. So this is my Paracone MD No Foundation Foundation Serum. Love that. Uh, this one actually doesn't really go in that category. This one I found in my mother's fridge down in Florida this past uh, April. And she had bought it and never used it. And I used it once down there and kind of liked it. So I'm going to do a Foundation Friday on this um, pretty soon. Probably maybe the first one back because I kind of like it. Um, so there's that, and that is in, what color is that, in Natural Tan. That's Bobbi Brown Skin Foundation. Then let's see what else we have here. My Estee Lauder Double Wear Light. I have that in Intensity 2.0. Love that. Then is my Estee Lauder Invisible Fluid. Unfortunately, I just heard that this has been discontinued. Love that. Still using that. And of course, my favorite, my IT CC Plus Cream SPF 50. So that's Keeper. Those are all Keepers, and they're all going back into this little compartment right here. So what do we have here? This is L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte. Did not like this. This is going in the give it away pile. Uh, what's this? This is the IT Celebration Foundation with the SPF 50. Brand new product. Love it. Uh, keeping that, definitely. And the It Cosmetics um, Bye Bye Pores HD Powder. I need to put that in that powder comparison video, but this is an all-time favorite. Absolutely love it. You know, if I had to guess today, I'd say this is going to win, but we'll see. I'm always surprised when I put things to the test. Lorac Perfection Mattifying Face Primer. Um, this is old. I think this is a couple years old, and I went to use it about a month ago, and it really smelled off, so this is actually going into the garbage. One thing for the garbage, yay. Um, okay, I have the IT Cosmetics Face Disc, uh, Vitality Face Disc. I actually have a few IT things that are for the full face. So that has the bronzer, the blush, and 
uh, the highlighter, and that's a really great thing. And I like this the color of this bronzer. Actually, I should compare the, the four It Face things that I have. Hold on a second. Let me put that aside for a second, and we'll look at the other ones. Because this is an It Cosmetics Face thing, and I have another one. Uh, where is it? Okay, it wasn't in there. I had to go downstairs to get it. But this is the new It Cosmetics Face Palette that I just got um, with their recent TSV. So this one has a bronzer, a blush, a highlighter, and a mattifying powder. So this is great for travel because it has everything. Um, but I don't love the color of this bronzer. It's a little warm for me. I prefer a little bit of a browner bronzer than a um, like a bricky, you know, warm kind of bronzer. This one, the CC Plus Naturally Pretty CC Radiant Palette, this one has your color correcting brightener, your naturally pretty blush, and your perfect warmth bronzer. So this has also three, three things, and here's how they compare to that one. Those side by side for color comparison. And I love the blush in this one. This is a gorgeous blush, and this one I did like a lot too. The Vitality Face Disc compares, whoops, let me do it this way. So you can see this is the warmest of the three bronzers. I much prefer this color bronzer. Let me see. This is barely used to this color bronzer. I hope the lighting in here is okay so you can see. But um, this is just too warm for me and I do like this peach color. So I don't know. I think I'm going to keep the Vitality Face Disc. I mean, I don't have to give any of them away, but, you know, it just seems silly to have so many. Um, and maybe put this one in the giveaway since I do have that It powder that I really like in the separate compact. So maybe this one will go in the giveaway and this one will go in the Keep It. And then this one is going to go in the giveaway. Okay, what else do we have for face stuff? Here is another primer. This is the Tarte. Clean Slate Timeless Smoothing Primer. This one I really like. I'd like to put that in the primer comparison for the pores, so that's going over there. This is the It Celebration Foundation. I think this is my original one. It's in kind of rough shape, but um, still good. Still love it, so definitely a keeper on that. Gosh, there's a lot of It stuff coming out of here, isn't there? Um, here is, what is this? Is this Maybelline? Yeah, Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless. I reviewed this in Foundation Friday a few weeks ago. Did not love it, so that is going in the give it away pile. Oh, hey, there it is. That's the sponge that goes with the Mally Face Defender. We're getting to the back of the drawer for the face stuff. This is the Bare Minerals Matte um, Loose Mineral Powder Foundation in the color Medium. I bought this, but I have not used it in years, so I'm gonna put that in the giveaway pile. What else do we have back here? Okay, Physician's Formula Bronzer. This is like the all organic wear one. I really like this one and I used it for quite a while, but that's so old. I think I'm just going to toss it. And ah, the NYX Stay Matte, Matte But Not Flat Powder Foundation. This one was actually I, in my powder foundation review from a couple years ago, came in second, which is why I continue to keep it. It's in soft beige. I really like this. Uh, foundation. Oh, it's so soft. It must have a lot of talc in it. It really feels great. Yeah, I really like that one. I do use this one on occasion, so I'm going to keep that one. And let's see what else we got in here. I see something else lurking in the back. Oh, the Milani. This used to be my favorite uh, blush, the Milani Dolce Pink Baked Blush. Look how pretty. Isn't it gorgeous? It was just beautiful, but too sparkly for me, so that's definitely a giveaway one. Back here, there are some concealers. Let's see what we got back here that are considered. That's lip, that's face, that's face, that's face, that's face. Concealers, oh my gosh, let me just put these in here. Got some concealers, some more concealer, and some more. Let's see, this one is Dream Dream Lumi, I think this is a Maybelline product. This is so old, I haven't used it. I liked it. Um, I used to use it, but haven't used it in years. It's probably all gross, so that's going in the garbage. 
Oh look, there's another one. Another Dream Lumi. It must be just a different color. I think that one was peach and this one is the like the light. It's a nice concealer. I actually like it. I think I'll keep this one. Maybe I'll try to use it. I don't know. I haven't used it in years. All right, give it away. No, keep it. No, give it away. Ah, okay, keep it. Let me see if there's anything I like better in here. This is Revlon Colorstay Under Eye Concealer SPF 15. Um, like that, have not used it in years, so it's all dried out and gross, so that's going in the garbage. Oh, what's this? ELF Under Eye Concealer and Highlighter. So this end is highlighter, this end is concealer. Did not like this at all. Bought it, used it a couple times, didn't like it. Um, as I recall, it might settle into wrinkles, I'm not sure, whatever. Or maybe it just didn't cover anything. This I used to love, Girl Meets Pearl. This was um, like the highlighter that I used to use all the time. I actually just used this on my daughter for prom. Uh, you know, this is old, this is a couple years old. And I still have it and I still use it and I still love it. So I guess I'll keep that just to use, maybe I'll give it to my daughter. I'll put it in the give it away, but give it to my daughter for like prom and stuff. Another IT Cosmetics, this is a CC Plus Eye. This is basically um, the CC Plus Cream, just in a smaller tube. Formula is pretty much exactly the same. So I'm gonna keep that because I can use that all over my face. Here's my Olay um, Dark Circle Minimizing CC Cream. This used to be my favorite under eye concealer. And why did I stop? I stopped using concealer under my eyes pretty much, but this still has some product in it. I should use this. I'm gonna use this one up. I'm gonna put this back in the use it so that I use it up pile. What's this? This is NYX Incredible Waterproof Concealer. Got this. You know, I'm not big on I, concealers. Concealers, really, I have a hard time with. They disappoint me. That I bought, I haven't used. That's going in the give it away pile. Uh, here's Revlon Colorstay Blemish Concealer in Light to Medium. I actually do use this when I have a pimple because it has salicylic acid in it and it helps to dry it up a little bit. So I, I'm gonna keep that one. And what is this? This is Bye Bye Under Eye. Love this. Keeping this. That's definitely a keeper. And that's it for the drawer. And then back here in this little clear guy, I do have a couple of face things. Um, I think I just have three concealers. And that's it. The rest is eye stuff. So that'll be in the eye video. But this is the concealer that I've been using most lately, so I'm keeping that. That's the MAC uh, Moisture Cover Select. And then this one is Maybelline Fit Me. I don't love it. I think that's going in the giveaway pile. And this is the Armani, whoops, this is the Armani Master Corrector in the orangey salmon color. I bought this a couple of years ago. It's expensive, so I'm probably not going to give it away. And it does have, it, have its purpose. It covers blue and green really well. So like if I have a bruise from injectables or uh, if I haven't slept and I have eye bags, it's really good for that. So I'm keeping those two. And I'll put them right back here where they live for easy access. All right, so here's the stuff I managed to weed out, so that's great. All right, so I think I did a pretty good job cleaning out that section of the drawer. I definitely got a lot of things into the give it away bag. So it's definitely much more organized and I feel better about it. And like I can actually find something when I'm looking for it. So, all right, that's it for the video for today, everybody. The second part of this video, the eye makeup uh, video will be up on Friday. So come back and take a look at that one if you like this one. And don't forget to give the video a thumbs up if you did like it. As always, everybody, I thank you so much for your time. Thanks for watching and I will see you next time. Take care. Bye-bye.